Dear listeners, this is our first video in a series of examples on electronic music programmed in Max 5. In this series, we'll be analyzing sounds, circuits, algorithms, and to some extent, sections of electronic music from the mid 20th century. Most of the examples focus on specific aspects of music, sometimes tiny bits of a huge work. Please don't expect these examples to be more than what they are. We don't aim to reproduce the sounds we are analyzing in all its complexity, but we rather try to get as close as possible to the thought processes involved in the making and forming of sounds in order to build a solid comprehension of the music we work with. We really believe this is the best way we can truly deepen our understanding of electronic music. As a general remark, we will not go into the details of the realization of the Max patch. Instead, we will show you how the patch can be initialized and run, and in some examples, we will propose exercises for those of you interested in practicing programming techniques in Max 5. If you are interested in learning more of Max 5 or Jeter, Check our website at www.clankvirald.org for our video course that covers basic, intermediate, and advanced topics. We hope you enjoy this learning path as much as we do. The first couple of examples in this series deal mainly with aspects of the piece Telemusik by Karl Heinz Stockhausen. Telemusik was composed in the year 1966 in the NHK Japanese Studios for Electronic Music. In this occasion, we have chosen to present an audio process called Gagaku Schaltung or Gagaku Circuit, named as such by Stockhausen himself because it was first invented and developed using Gagaku music as an input. In our example, we are using the same Gagaku music fragment as the one used in structure 3 of the piece. In the background picture, you have the flow diagram as it appears on the Telemusik realization score, which you can refer to for further details and instructions. You can always check the sources on each example for more information. The circuit was constructed with two ring modulators, two oscillators, three filters, amplifiers, and of course the pre-recorded Gagaku music, which is used as the source of the transformation process. The startup process is divided in three simple steps. First, we initialize the oscillators buffer and loop by sending a message through the pattern forward object. Second, we make sure all the levels are up. And we start the window. And third, to start up the loop, we just have to click on this blue rectangle, which will trigger the groove object that will read from the buffer. The buffer, of course, is loaded with the Gagaku music. So I will now click on the toggle and I will leave the music for a few seconds so you can compare it with your own setup and see if everything is working properly. I leave you for now. Please feel free to contact us through the forums for questions or feature requests.